Hey everybody, Pastor Kyle here, excited about how the Holy Spirit is going to move in your life through this video. We are going to be doing a deliverance prayer. Uh, this is technically uh, me doing uh, the deliverance prayer uh, for you to follow along with. So in a way it's self-deliverance because you can be by yourself watching this video. But I'm, a, I'm going to actually help with the deliverance uh, in terms of uh, uh, administering the deliverance here uh, through the video. Uh, and so you can use this prayer anytime. Uh, there will be points at the video in the video where you'll want to pause and spend some time in prayer personally. So I would recommend finding an area that you uh, can pray uh, alone and without distraction and uh, just follow through these steps and you're going to be able to, I believe, receive deliverance. Uh, it's important to understand that getting deliverance is the first step of a discipleship journey, and uh, it's important to be connected with a local church in your area so that you can continue your discipleship path because uh, once you get deliverance, there's going to be a tremendous amount of spiritual warfare, and you're going to need a faith community to surround you. So make sure that you're ready to fully commit to that process of being part of a faith community in your local area before praying through this prayer. Uh, you may want to either slow down this video uh, by using the options on your, whether you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, you could put this at 0.75 speed or you can speed it up, whichever works best for you. Uh, but we are going to get right into it. The first step that we're going to ask everyone watching this video to take is to ask the Holy Spirit to show you anyone you need to forgive before proceeding uh, in this video. Uh, the Bible says, unless you forgive your brother from the heart, uh, you, you are handed over to the tormentors. And so it gives an open door to the demonic in our life when we're walking in unforgiveness. So all you need to do is pause the video, say, Holy Spirit, show me anyone that I have not forgiven from the heart and then you just forgive them in the name of Jesus. You don't have the strength to forgive someone in your flesh, but in the name of Jesus, you can forgive anyone who's ever harmed you, and it will set you free from the power they have over your life. So pause the video. Uh, take as long as you need. Make You might want to have a journal for some of these steps. Write down uh, who the Holy Spirit shows you and simply name them out and say, I forgive them in the name of Jesus, and then come back to the video. All right. Step two is to ask the Holy Spirit to show you anyone that you have ungodly soul ties with and then renounce these soul ties in the name of Jesus. So maybe use your journal or just let the Holy Spirit show you. Uh, he, he'll give you names as you're asking him to. So you'll just want to pause the video again and say, Holy Spirit, show me anyone either in my past or present that I need to change relationship with. You may be currently in a sexually immoral relationship that you need to break off. Uh, that's going to be important for deliverance to really have its full effect, uh, but it may just be someone in your past that you need to renounce. So what you'll need to do is pray, let the Holy Spirit show you who it is, maybe jot their names down, name them and say, I renounce soul ties with so-and-so in Jesus' name. Make sure that you do that for everyone that the Holy Spirit shows you, and then come back to the video for step three. All right, step three is to ask the Holy Spirit to show you open doors of sin that you need to repent of and renounce. Uh, that is typically going to be sin that you've committed. He may reveal something to you in your ancestry that you've inherited as a spiritual iniquity. Whatever he shows you, you repent of it, renounce it. That means you're, 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 you're turning away from it. You are, you are literally breaking agreement with it. Uh, you're renouncing ungodliness as the uh, as the Apostle Paul declares. Uh, you're confessing your sin and being cleansed of it. We are basically revoking every legal right that the enemy has to remain in your life. After you have taken some time to, to uh, receive from the Holy Spirit, let him show you what you need to repent and renounce of. Come back to the video for step four. It's where I'm going to begin to pray through uh, this, uh, through the deliverance uh, portion of this video. All right, for step four, you're going to want to find a quiet place. Uh, obviously, for this whole video, it's going to be important, but find a quiet place. You can slow this down and try to repeat after me if you want, um, but or you can just receive. And if you begin to feel like coughing 
or uh, if you begin to feel nauseous or your ears ringing or if your nose starts running or if you feel like salivating like you need to spit you might want to have like I don't know a trash can or something nearby it's not always the case sometimes deliverance is as simple as the evil spirit leaving you and you can sense it spiritually when it leaves um, but uh, it is not uncommon to cough sneeze uh, to cry if you feel like you want to cry or weep that is often uh, uh, something that happens uh, during deliverance prayers um, your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit and the temple which is your earth suit that you're living in it has many exits and entrances so when we begin to command these evil spirits to leave uh, they will leave through a variety of exits most often through the mouth uh, either through coughing or just breathing the Greek word for for spirit is the same Greek word pneuma for breath so I want to encourage you throughout this deliverance prayer, uh, just breathe throughout the whole process. Wait till the end before you praise, worship, or pray in tongues because you want to be focused on not uh, necessarily the worship and the thanking of the Lord. We'll do that at the end, but you want to be focused on releasing everything that's not of God from your life. Amen? All right. Uh, just bow your head wherever you're at and just get into uh, a, a place of, of releasing. Amen. Holy Spirit, I ask you right now to fill every place of every person watching this video. We submit to your anointing. Holy Spirit, it is your power that removes demonic influences from your life. We ask you, Lord, in the name of Jesus to show up during this video and break the power of the enemy in every area of the lives of those watching. So in the name of Jesus, I break all generational curses of pride, rebellion, lust, poverty, witchcraft, idolatry, death, destruction, failure, sickness, infirmity, fear, and schizophrenia, and rejection in the name of Jesus. I command all generational and hereditary spirits operating in the lives of those watching this video through curses to be bound and removed in the name of Jesus. Now for each part that I'm ministering, if you feel something start to manifest, uh, you can take authority over it, pause the video and say, come out of me in the name of Jesus, and then simply breathe and let it be gone. The Holy Spirit will remove it. Just breathe. Amen. So if you need to pause at any time, just pause and then come back and we'll go through the next parts. In the name of Jesus, I command all spirits of lust, perversion, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, and immorality to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of hurt, rejection, fear, anger, wrath, sadness, depression, discouragement, grief, bitterness, and unforgiveness to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of confusion, forgetfulness, mind control, mental illness, double-mindedness, fantasy, pain, pride, and memory, memory loss to come out of their mind in the name of Jesus. Remember, if you need to pause, pause. Or, or if you need to rewind and listen again, do it at, at half speed or 0.75 speed and repeat. Sometimes if you're having trouble with one leaving you, you need to double up on it and put pressure on it and begin to confess the word of God. Amen. I command all spirits, all curses of schizophrenia to be broken. And I command all spirits of double-mindedness, rejection, rebellion, and the root of bitterness to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of guilt, shame, and condemnation to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of pride, stubbornness, disobedience, rebellion, self-will, selfishness, and arrogance to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of addiction to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits of witchcraft, sorcery, divination, and the occult to come out in the name of Jesus. I break every generational curse that, that uh, allowed the occult to enter this person. I break every curse of witchcraft, sorcery, divination, or any other aspect of the occult to be broken in the name of Jesus right now. 
all of you spirits connected to those curses come out in Jesus' name. I command all spirits operating in the head, eyes, mouth, tongue, and throat to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in the chest and lungs to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in the back and spine to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in the stomach and abdomen to come out in the name of Jesus. Any anxiety in the stomach, come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in the heart, spleen, kidneys, liver, and pancreas to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in the sexual organs to come out in the name of Jesus. Spirits of lust come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in the hands, arms, legs, and feet to come out in the name of Jesus. I command every demon operating in the skeletal system, including the bones, jo joints, knees, and elbows, to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in any glands of the body to come out in the name of Jesus. I command every spirit operating in the blood and circulatory system to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all spirits operating in the muscles and the muscular system to come out in the name of Jesus. I command all religious spirits to come out in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of doubt, unbelief, error, heresy, and tradition come out in the name of Jesus. I break every curse of false religion now in the name of Jesus. I command every spirit from the past that is hindering this person's present and their future to come out in the name of Jesus. I command every ancestral spirit, every bloodline spirit, every spirit of iniquity that came through their ancestors, come out in the name of Jesus. I command all hidden spirits in any part of this person's life to come out in the name of Jesus. All right, so that was the self-deliverance prayer. If you are currently going through deliverance, if, if you're manifesting right now, uh, just uh, take authority over that demon and command it to go. Uh, if you need to rewind this video and start it over and just keep letting that prayer of deliverance play until you are free of everything, do that. Um, I'm going to pray for the Holy Spirit to uh, fill every empty space in your life uh, and then I need to also make sure that you are aware that you moving forward need to be consistent in daily prayer and Bible reading. You need to be consistent in a, a church attendance and accountability. You need to really get into the Word. You need to really get into prayer, and you need to get into a local church that is a Bible-believing church because the, the spiritual warfare that you're going to face post-deliverance is nothing that you need to be afraid of only you, the only reason you would need to be afraid is if you're not taking steps to be in the will of God. And it's so important to be part of a faith community and under spiritual authority, under a local pastor that can minister to you, where you can receive from the word of God and you can grow in your faith and become strong uh, so that you can walk in ongoing victory. So let me pray for you that you be filled with the Holy Spirit. Father, right now, I pray for everyone watching this video that just went through deliverance. And I just ask you to baptize them in the Holy Spirit fully and completely right now. And God, fill any space that, uh, that, has, that was made empty through this deliverance. God, let there be no empty space. Let there be no vacant space that, uh, that a demon could reoccupy. Fill them totally and completely with the power of the Holy Spirit right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you so much for engaging in this deliverance prayer. Use it as often as you need to. And uh, let us know in the comments how God is blessing you through it. We'll talk to you soon.